What's up, Michael? Hey, Shane. Hey, hey everyone. Yes, we are so, so excited. This oh, yeah. is, this is been in the works for years. Years, yeah, for sure. And we, recently it's been 24 seven. It has 24 seven. But we've uh, definitely, and we've been talking about having a trailer with our name on it for seven or eight years, right? Oh yeah. We've been going in business for 15 years and essentially it's always been this, the quality is so poor and we just kept on reaching for better, better, better. And then we, a few years ago, it was like, it'd be so cool to have our own. And Imperial Outdoors in Wisconsin has finally delivered a trailer with our name on it. And that's pretty exciting. Very exciting. Yes, I'm very, very like, can barely sleep. I feel like it's Christmas <laughs> Eve, I have a child every single morning. So, so excited. We've been getting a question asked constantly like what's the difference between the Roamer One and the X195, the Explorer? And so today, that's what this video is about, right? Yeah, we're gonna go through all the differences, what makes the Roamer One unique. It doesn't come complete from Explorer, it comes maybe 90 or so percent done, and then we bring it in here and we finish the Roamer One. So it comes, you know, without leather on the cushions, there's a few things, and, and then we add all of the final touches to make it officially the Roamer one. So let's go over the differences. Number one, with the, what, what I will say with the X195, um, you can get it in tan and green. The Roamer one, you can't get tan and green. And the X195, you can't get in gray. The Roamer one is gray from us. So we only sell this color as the Roamer one. You're not gonna get a 195 in gray from us. Yep. And you're not gonna get a green or a tan Roamer one from us. So that's, that's one of the big, differences. Also the X195, you can choose your battery bank, you know, so you can choose choose a 360 or I'll go all the way up to 1080. The Roamer One, it comes standard with 1080 amps. Um, also in X195, you can option your solar array. Yeah. You can go bigger from or smaller. bigger or smaller. The Roamer One comes with the fully loaded 1240 watts of solar. There's not an option to get less, right? So that was kind of like the idea is we wanted this to be kind of like give you all the best of the best premium things that the X195 offered, plus put some of our own touches in to it here at our yep. way. So what's one of the biggest differences, and this might be a determination between whether you want a 195 or a Roamer one, and what would you say the biggest thing is? Uh, the biggest difference, besides the color, <laughs> it's Roamer one. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it has no, our name on it. It has and, our name on it. <laughs> and that, that's huge. And, and, and obviously we're gonna be standing behind this trailer you know, because it has our name, our brand. Yeah, like we stand behind all of our products, but we're, <coughs> it's the Roamer One, so yes. we're much more invested. Yeah, as you can see, it says ROA on his shirt. <laughs> it's ROA right there. Yeah. That's our name on it. The Mer is the addition, right? But it's it's really uh, yes. So the biggest difference, I mean, there's a couple differences. One of the major, major differences is this has an outside kitchen. Yes, that's huge. Outside kitchen is big. This and little then, teeny little door right I here. Hey, I couldn't tell you how many hours I've lived imagining this hole <laughs> <laughs> and how to make, put a kitchen in there. Cause you cannot buy a kitchen and just stick it in. This kitchen is completely designed in-house by ROA Off-Road. And we have spent over a hundred hours designing it. And the neat thing is we deal with so many off-road trailers over the years, over a thousand off-road trailers in the market from us. And we've heard so much feedback from are roamers, right? What they like and what they don't like about outside kitchens. And so what we've done, as we were looking at doing this outside kitchen, we searched and searched to see if there were already kitchens available. And there are, there's tons of options for kitchens. You can order pre-made kitchens, but none of them checked all the boxes that we were looking. One of them was, a lot of them use the cheap Dometic stoves that just don't put a lot of BTU output. You know, some of them only do about 5,000 BTUs. This is 18,000 BTUs. We also didn't want to have to deal with having to bring pans and, you know, different utensils to grill. So we wanted a cooktop where you could just pull it out, throw a steak on it, egg, whatever, bacons, pancakes, and just be able to cook. Because the, the idea is when you're out camping, you have gotta make it easy, cause then you do it more often. This actual track and that it sits on is a track system that the fire trucks use, and it's rated for a thousand pounds. Another thing that I love is you have this out this spice rack where you can put your spices, you have some drawers you can open up and have some extra space for storage. This sink 
It's silly, but so many outside kitchen sinks are about half the depth is of this one. This one is one of the deepest sinks I've ever seen on an outside kitchen. And we did that because a lot of the outside kitchens, you feel like they're really designed just to wash your hands. And we wanted something that you could utilize and actually wash dishes with. Another thing that I like on this kitchen is the drain. A lot of outside kitchens that we've seen in the past, they actually have the drain under here and it just pours out on the ground. Sometimes there's this little accordion thing that you pull out and then let it drop into a bucket or something. If you forget your bucket, it splashes all over the ground. And then a lot of times when you forget to push that accordion back up and when you shut it, it breaks. So this is recessed in here, so it's not gonna have that issue. And it actually, the fitting is a standard garden hose. And the gray tank on the trailer is a standard garden hose. So you use the exact same hose you use to drain your gray tank. You can use to drain this as well. And of course you can, you know, take it away from you so you're not draining right here on the ground and get it out away from camp. There's been a lot of thought and design behind this kitchen. It may seem like a silly little thing, but to us, the most important thing is not selling trailers, but getting people to go out camping. And the easier you can make things, the more you know seamless and frictionless you can make it, the better, because then it will allow you to get out and camp faster and more often. Okay, so down below, we also have rock lights. We wanna point that out, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can kinda cool. see the lights right there under there right now. And there, you actually have an app on your phone that you can jump onto and you can change the colors. Ooh, there's blue. Let's go to red, let's go to green. And then the best is, let's make it a party right here. Ooh, yeah, dun, 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 dun. As we were going over obstacles, we were able to see all the clearance, the departures, we scraped a little bit of everything on that trail. It was a Jeep trail and it was pretty intense. One of the things I do wanna talk about, the Roamer One on the front of this, this actually lights up when you plug it into the truck and as you're driving at night, it will illuminate and it's pretty cool if you've seen those new Mercedes Broncos, they have the front grill, it actually illuminates. It's not super bright, but as you're driving down the road, you see it and it's really, really cool. The company that actually is designed and made these for the Roamer one, they are the same company that builds the new Ford Bronco emblems as well. So very high quality, automotive grade, designed to turn on while you're driving down the freeway. Uh, one of the things that we were, somebody, I was showing, showing it off to somebody recently, and the, the goal has been turnkey. We yes. just, we wanted to have it ready. We have a lot of people that travel from all over the country and instead of having to get here and then go to Walmart or go to some place to find your hoses, which is just an, a nuisance, right? Yep. We're giving you everything, comes with everything. Um, water hoses. We also, it's really important to have a toolkit and it's coming completely set up with a toolkit with everything yep. you need, ratchets, sockets, screwdrivers, because- Got a little hammer in there and everything. So you have all that, also a torque wrench and a voltmeter. So if you ever do need to check anything, you are, you're prepared. Yeah, and we, we pride ourselves in having phenomenal tech support. Our guy on the text line, he can call you. If you're ever out in the field, you have an issue, like sometimes it's not convenient to drag it somewhere, right? You're out on a camping trip, you're on a, a cross country trip or whatever with your family. Um, we've supplied you with the tools that we believe you need more than anything else to be able to fix anything on the fly. And then also with our tech support, our Romer tech support, which you will get included with the purchase of a Romer one you'll always have that tech support. Um, and that, and it will, we give you the tools that if you do have an issue, we can get you on the road with your tools, right? So that's really important. Um, what do we have here? This right here is our proprietary, no. So we designed a connection here where we can actually convert your Starlink to connect into the trailer. So you have a pass through and then it plugs into the modem inside. Where right now when people are using the Starlink, they're cracking their window open or leaving their door open to run the cord through. You get to wherever you're going and you're gonna put your dish outside and then this plug that we've designed and built with this system, you're gonna plug it in right there. And the modem is actually underneath the bed inside the trailer and it has an outlet and it has the other side of that plug plugged in. The second you plug that satellite in, 
immediately we're gonna have internet in less than 60 seconds. The modem kicks on and my phone will connect to the Wi-Fi, just like I'm walking into my house and I'll have high-speed internet. And this is something that you're only gonna be getting on the Roamer One and no other trailer on the market whatsoever. It's a silly thing, you're like, it's an afterthought that it seems like Where do I nobody the has when they build a trailer. Where's the trash there's can? Two, there's two things that almost <laughs> nobody does on a trailer, no matter the trailer, is they don't have a trash inside the trailer and they don't have a trash outside of the trailer. And so what we've done, we'll show you inside in a second, but we've given you a trash can inside the trailer and we've given you a trash can outside of the trailer. I wanna talk about one of my favorite things on the Roamer One, and it may seem silly, but I am shocked in how many manufacturers do not give you a standard trash can. And we've, Put a trash can in here and it slides on out. Easy to throw your trash in here. Another thing is not just the trash can inside, but we also have, it comes standard with a trash on the outside, on the back tire. We didn't have it when we were doing the walk around tour, but it does come standard with a trash -aroo. As silly as it may seem, if you never owned a trailer, you're always having an issue trying to find out where do I put trash. People are hanging bags, like trash bags on the doors, and then the trash bags inevitably, once they get full, they go outside, and then you end up throwing them in the bed of the truck, and it's just kind of a nuisance. So you have your trash right here. Once this gets full, you can walk it out to the back, throw it in the trash -aroo, and that's where your trash goes. And you don't need to like, figure out where does my trash go? See, these are the details that you just don't get when you're buying a trailer, except for from ROA. We've tried to go into every single detail of what you're going to have to try to figure out yourself and do yourself, and we've tried to eliminate that. So it just becomes, essentially, you get the trailer and you go and camp. All right, here on the back on the utility box, we'll be providing also Max tracks. Great spot, they're usually just there for looking cool, but. Yeah, but when you need them, <laughs> it does good. matter. It does. It does them um, sometimes. No, though. they're amazing. So you definitely want them. It's it's kind of like having a, a jack or having insurance. It's yeah, helpful. you don't want to use it, but you want it, <laughs> right? Yes. In case you need to use it. And then also we have a standard backup camera over here. It's a Furion. Really okay. nice camera. Super long range, awesome for using and that. And it comes with a monitor that you'll yep. put in your truck while you're towing and you'll be able to have a backup camera. Yeah, it just plugs in, super simple. And another thing for while you're towing, um, you always wanna check your tire pressure. Yeah, the biggest thing when you have any, if you ever have a blowout, it's heat or improper pressures on your tires. So we have a tire minder on there. So it has an app and it has its own little uh, controller as well so you can use either one just leave the controller in your car and it'll notify you if your air pressure is too high or too low also temperatures too so if your temperatures get too high you know there's something going on that's bad yeah every roamer you get a tire pressure monitoring system and it will actually monitor your psi and the temperature. And we also have one on your spare tire. That's happened to me before where I actually had a flat, I pulled out my spare and I put it on and it just, it had a leak. So you'll know whether your spare is good and your tires as you're driving. Michael, would you wanna show what's over Oh uh, yeah, that this is one of, one of my favorite additions. Oh, you know, you're sleeping here and you hear some noises outside and you're like, oh crap. <clears throat> and then right here, if you can, Set this to your finger. Right now, I just you got a little handgun you can put right there. Ooh. If so. you if you want to not have a gun in there, yeah, we could. This uh, insert actually all comes out. And then you can put cash and wallets. Yeah, and so like you can you take this all out, and then you have a lot more space. You could just load it up with your valuables. Yeah, and you can also cut this a little bit and trim it if you have a different an extra or. large gun. But it fits most nine millimeters. That's really cool. Another thing is you can see right here, we have a television. Um, once again, we're only focusing on the stuff that comes with the Roamer One and you will not get on an X195. Now this is one of the exceptions on the 195. If you wanted us to add a TV, we can. Moving over here, we have of course the TV and this does swivel out in a lot of different directions. So you can be on the bed, you can be on the booth over here even comes out and we've designed it to come off the mount really easily while you're in transit you can store it on the bed that's what we are recommending people to do it is a smart tv too 
so it can stream anything on it. Obviously we include the Starlink system setup, so you can be able to plug in your Starlink, and the second you plug in your Starlink, you can have this set up to internet, and then it will be able to just automatically play Netflix, Hulu, whatever you do, YouTube TV, so you can watch the games, or lots of people are like, why do you have TV while you're camping? I get it. The idea is to be outside hiking and exploring, but sometimes it's raining. And the other issue for me personally is when it gets late at night and it's cold sometimes my little girl wants to come in and be warm and it's really easy for us to throw on a movie for her and the adults hang out at the campfire later i'm talking 9 10 11 p.m you can be out there and she can be in here and warm and get ready for bed and it's just fun to have the option there's a bunch of other things but let's talk about one of my favorite things right now this this guy here booth area yeah. this, this was a fun design this so We've done it. Tell them a little bit about the outside decals and how you've brought yeah. that inside. Yeah, so if you if you remember looking on the outside of the trailer, it's, it's very subtle, but there's some little swooshes or whatever on the decals on the outside or the, the graphics, the design. So I wanted to incorporate that more into the trailer as well. So we've actually added that so you can see it kind of starts here and it wraps all the way around, which is similar to the outside as well. So it's cool to incorporate that. And these are, you know, the four inch, four inches on the bottom, so super comfy to sit on, and three inches on the back. So they're almost twice as thick as what comes in standard. The 195, on the 195 yeah. on this, so it's a lot more plush. You also, hold... yeah, I extended out this cushion and this cushion. This one's, you know, about four or five inches, and the other one's about two inches, so that it uh, gives you more leg space. So yeah. you, when you sit down, your leg meets your or your thigh meets your yeah, shin so, or whatever. So right there, it actually comes all the way out to my legs, so I am comfortably supported. This booth is unbelievably comfortable. Isn't it comfortable? It's very comfortable. And this is very nice, high-end leather. Yeah, and it's all, it's all double, double, triple stitched throughout here. Um, very premium. This, this is definitely uh, a very expensive ad. This, yeah. is, this in the kitchen are the biggest. Are the biggest. And the nice is that's where you spend most of your time is cooking and sitting yeah. in the trailer. And yeah. when you're done cooking, you're sitting here eating in yeah. the trailer. So the two places you're going to spend the most of the time besides the bed, which has been upgraded as well. So the places you spend your time have all been added to and improved. Yeah. Romer one, we put in standard a 10 inch memory phone, like a Tempur-Pedic style bed. And the shop, I think I'm driving them crazy because they have ordered like five mattresses in the last month or so. And I've been like sleeping on them, testing them out. As we've been going out camping, I've been throwing them in, trying different sizes. I mean, mattresses are a lot of matter of opinion. In most cases, people are like, oh, all well, campers give you terrible mattresses. That's just the first thing you do is you go buy a new mattress. And I just thought to myself, that's silly, that's annoying. Why would we want people to have to buy a trailer and immediately go and get a new mattress? So we just wanted to include a very, very comfortable mattress to start with. Obviously all this bedding comes with it too. This is a feather down comforter. You have nice satin comfy pillows, nice sheets. Everything is included. Everything you see is included because once again, the idea is just to get out and enjoy and have fun and camp and sleep well, not wake up with aches in your back. We wanted you to sleep really, really comfortably. Now, something that I actually really, really love is, um, you know, whenever I go out and I buy a trailer or get a trailer, I'm always like, okay, now I need to go and get silverware and dishes and and it's hard to sometimes fit them in the right cabinets what fits what doesn't as you can see this is all branded Romer one and when you open this up ta-da ta-da this is really cool we have our silverware and everything fits in its spot and of course it says Romer on it so lots of little details that make it just fun and unique unlike anything else on the market that you'll see. It's all built in, so this is, stays here permanently. And the nice thing is we give you the pots that work for the induction cooktop, so you don't have to go and try to figure that out. These are sometimes a pain in the butt to find if you're headed down to a store. I guess sometimes custom order them. Over here we have some utensils for cooking above the sink area. A really fun setup here. You have your manuals and your books. They're all set up here. 
you know, most often trailers are just thrown in wherever they can throw them. You design a spot for them to live so you have a spot for them. We have our glasses and you can see everything is engraved and you have your coffee or hot chocolate mugs, all your plates that slide in. We've already tested off-roading. We're pushing 3,000 miles on-road, over 200 miles off-roading, and we've been doing <laughs> Jeep trails like Moab with crazy amount of camber up and down, and none of this stuff has fallen out or slid out. And that's one of the things that, as we've actually been designing it, the first thing that we designed did actually, some stuff was falling out and broke, and so we actually took it back in and redesigned it and fitted it a little tighter with a more of a slant. And so our thought is if we can't make it fall out, you're not gonna make it fall out either. So we really tried to test these above and beyond what anybody else does. Moving back to this cabinet, we have put a little spot right here and thrown in a oven because there's no oven in it. So we wanted to give you a toaster oven and this you can just pull out and use it when you need to. And of course some pots and pans too here and Everything does say Romer on it, which is really fun. Now, moving on, we have uh, into the bathroom, just a few little things. Um, we have our rug right here. And of course we have our towels and they're all branded with the Romer one. So the idea is when you come here to pick up your trailer, you're ready to go. We've also added a, as silly as it seems, a towel, uh, a towel rack. <laughs> Lots of trailers don't come with towel racks. There was no towel rack in it. So we've added that up here and we've secured it nicely. And you got your towels right there, all ready to roll, ready to go. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I think I think we've covered everything. Yeah, those are the main additions. So yeah. there's actually quite a few and it's all just lots of the great little touches and some very big things that make the world of a different time. Like, yeah, to me, to me, th this booth area is is very, very comfortable. Oh yeah. Um, and then the outside kitchen, for me personally, that's a must. Not yeah. everybody cares about it. Some people don't. I do. You know, like you always joke about, you don't want your inside to smell like bacon. <laughs> yeah. Go cook your bacon outside. But you can cook bacon if you want to inside. Just the convenience of not having to try to figure out where to fit everything. You know, yeah, it's already done. We've taken a lot of time to do this, right? The mattress is much more comfortable. Um, I'm a kind of a mattress snob. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> like I, yeah, you only sleep purple. I only sleep Tempur-Pedic. So I, I, I don't even like to travel in hotels anymore because I don't sleep good on my bed. Yeah. So I, I was, to me, it was really, really important that we did put a comfier bed in it, um, comfort, comfier place to sit and relax because when you're out camping, that's the, that's the key is you yeah. want this, as a yeah, tool space. to be able to be comfortable. Yep, that's what the, that's why you get a trailer is to get you places that nobody else will go yeah. and be there longer and enjoy it. Yeah, be comfortable. You don't want to bed, dread wake any up. part. Yeah, you don't want to wake up and be like, oh, my back hurts because I didn't sleep well, right? Uh, so that is the Roamer 1. And those are the biggest differences between the Roamer. I mean, those are all the differences between the Roamer 1. We only focused on the differences. Yeah between the Romer 1 and the X195. At the end of the day, they're both phenomenal trailers, right? Oh, for sure. Um, uh, obviously, this one costs a little bit more, but you almost get that in just the kitchen in this booth area. Yeah, yeah, you totally do. Yeah. So it's it's awesome, and it's all for purpose driven, you know? If this is, you know, you, you have a purpose, and this may fit it better. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, if you, if you don't need the power and the solar array that this offers and you want to downgrade it unfortunately we don't we're not doing that with the Romer one it comes standard with the max solar max lithium but in the 195 you could do that yeah so but hopefully uh, if you have any questions just reach out to one of our sales coaches uh, Josh Nate or I you, you know the fact that it has our name on it we're super grateful towards Imperial for making this happen for us and we're gonna stand behind this product you know it, uh, we move heaven and earth for our Romers Especially if you have a roamer, <laughs> right? Like that is, we're really excited about this. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.